Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a Python program to find out the length of given list without using the built-in function. So here input of this program is a list and the output of this program is length of that list. For example here if I take 10, 20, a Okay, it contains three elements that means the length of list is three. So we need to get output as three. We already have a function called len which is used to find out the length of iterables. So we can find out the length of list using that function. But here we want to find out the length of list without using that built in function. So let's see how to do that. So to write this program the first step is we need to take the input here a list and the second step is we need to go through the each element and we need to count how many elements are present. So we need to iterate through the list and count how many elements are present and lastly print the result. Alright so these are the three steps. So first let's take the input and here you can take the input in two ways. One is you can directly take a list or you can take the user input. First let me take the list directly. In the python file I'll take list name as list1 and I'll take 10 20 uh, string a value right this is my input next I need to find out how many elements are present in the list1 so for that what I need to do is I need to go through each element of the list1 and I need to count for example first I need to go through this element and I need to take count as 1 Next I need to go through this element I need to take count as 2. Next here I need to go here and I need to take count as 3. Next here I need to go here and I need to take count as 4. Now all the elements are over right that means count is 4. So length of list 1 is 4. Right in this way we will calculate the length of list 1. So for that first I need to take a variable and I need to initialize that to 0. So count is 0. Next if I want to go through individual element of the list 1 then I need to use a loop. So for that I'll use for loop here and here I need to go through each element of list 1 right. So I'll mention list 1. So I becomes initially 10, next 20, next in the next iteration it will become a, in the next iteration it will become 4. Now here inside this for loop body I'll increment count by 1. That is initially i value will be 10. So I'll increment count by 1 so count becomes 1. Next again the for loop will execute i value become 20. Here I will increment count by 1 so count will become 2. Next again control will go here and i value becomes a. So it will execute this and it will increment count by 1 so count becomes 3. Now again control will go to the for loop body and i becomes 4 and it will increment the count now count becomes 4. Now again control will go to the for loop but here all the elements are over so it will come out of that and will get count as 4. It is correct right there are four elements present in the list one next here you need to print the result length of list is here you need to print count so here we can see three steps the first one is take the input and here go through each element of the list one and count the element lastly you need to print the result so let's execute this so we will get the result as 4 because 4 elements are present in the list 1. Now if I take 6, 7, 8 and execute this we will get 7 because now 7 elements are present in the list 1. Next you can write this program using user input also but while taking the user input first you will ask the user to mention how many elements are present then you will enter the element because you are entering the elements and how many elements you want in the list. So you know the length of list one right. So that time I think the program is not useful. So that's why I'm not showing you how to write this program using user input. You can try that. I already explained you how to take the user input for the list. So you can uh, include that here and you, you can check the length of the list. Alright so that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then take care.